Hey guys, it's Derek there, Dragon from Red Dragon Airsoft, and I know I've already done the accuracy test of the KWA MB7, but it really didn't show the maximum performance you're going to get out of it, not even close. Didn't really have the hop-up dialed in, wasn't using the correct gram BBs, blah blah blah, so many other things. So I've deleted my last one, I'm going to be redoing it. Now you may be asking me, what am I going to be changing? I'm going to actually be changing a lot, and I'll show you what I'm talking about right now. Alright, so here's what I'm going to be changing. I have one KWA MP7 that is fully tuned in with the hop-up, set perfectly for the 150 foot test. So this one's going straight, and I've got four KWA MP7 magazines. Gassed up, fully loaded, 48 rounds, ready to go. I'm going to be using one, and then the three will be inside where I have my work computer that is overclocked at 4.2 gigahertz. You may be asking me why that is relevant. It is relevant because that makes my room pretty warm and pretty humid, so it'll keep these magazines nice and warm like they should be. The, guys, the gun itself might be a little bit cold, but the magazines will be nice and warm. I'm also going to be using the correct gram BB. I'm going to start doing this for all my accuracy tests. I will not no, I will no longer just be using .2s for accuracy tests. I will keep consistent with the Kronos, but not for the accuracy tests. I am going to be using it correctly for the feet per second of the gun. So this one's shooting about 360, 380, so perfect for that is about .25s. So I'm out of .25s, but I do have some .26s that TSD was polite enough to send to RDA to test. So biodegradable. PSD, 0.26 gram BBs, perfect for this test, and let's get going and see exactly what the KWA MP7 is capable of. Alright, so you guys have zoomed in on the 50 foot target, uh, I apologize for the plane flying over, we are in a city after all, but you guys have zoomed in on the energy drink, it's green, might be semi hard to see, still my second favorite energy drink, first one is probably either Venom or Monster Salt, but back on topic. 50 feet, we're going to be using that can to see how strong it is and how accurate it is. So, 0.26 gram BBs, propane, semi-automatic, let's go. Alright, full auto. And we are out of BBs. Alright, so here's what happened to the can. Whoo! That's pretty impressive. Uh, I know it's using a stronger BB and all, but that is still, at 50 feet away, still pretty impressive. Uh, holes all over the can, definitely something you're not going to want to be hit by. A lot of them just went straight on through, as you can see, exit wounds, pretty big. Um, regardless, 50 feet, 0.26 gram BBs, propane, you're not going to get shot, you're just not going to want to get shot by this. It's going to hurt. Alright, so you guys have zoomed in on the 100 foot target. Should be a pretty easy easy shot uh, with this gun, but let's go ahead and do it anyway. Propane, 0.26 gram BBs, 100 feet, semi automatic. Alright, full auto. And we are out of BBs. So as you can see, a hundred feet every single time, straight into the straight into the target, really easy shot. All right, so you guys have zoomed in on the 150 foot target. May I remind you, that's a very small target; it's only about four inches wide. And this is going to be absolutely pushing the max of the accuracy of this gun. So first semi-automatic, and then full auto, fully gas propane with 0.26 gram biodegradable TSD BBs. Alright, full auto. And we are out of BBs, but as you guys can see, this thing is incredibly accurate. A lot more accurate than what I showed in my last test. 0.26 gram BBs and propane gives it pretty much the best you're going to find. And the BBs fly incredibly straight. 
Now it is slightly windy today, so that would throw them off as you see them. They'd curve left and down slightly because of the east winds we get around here. That go up the Columbia Gorge, those are real fun. But, as you can see, accuracy is amazing with this thing. This thing can easily compete uh, with AEGs out in the market, especially the sub with the uh, submachine gun AEGs, say an MP5K, uh, not an MP5K, I'm sorry, well, although that is true, say an MP5, or one of the smaller ones of that manner. The accuracy of this gun is absolutely superb, and KWA is doing a great job in the hop-up of their gas guns, especially since the barrel in this gun is, if I had to guess off the top of my head, only about 8 inches at the most. So again, accuracy is absolutely superb with this gun. Alright, so you guys have zoomed out all the way right next to me. We're just going to be playing shooting down range, not at anything in particular. Probably right above that, that flower pot into the tree so you guys can really see the BBs. Uh, 0.26 gram BBs, propane, and let's load this thing up. I also forgot to mention that I had the gun completely folded out for this test, make it easier to aim and easier to shoulder. So let's load this up, cock it, and let's shoot this thing. Alright, semi-automatic right over the camera. Alright, full auto. And we are out of ammo. Alright, so as you guys can see, this is a very accurate gun, a very awesome gun. KBUA did a great job on this gun. It's very good on gas, the feet per second is great, the accuracy is amazing, it can, can easily compete uh, with a submachine gun AEG, which is crazy for a submachine gun, uh, gas submachine gun of this size. Um, and to show that it's, it's good on gas, there's no BBs in here, this is the, uh, and you can see the bolt catch activates very easily. Uh, not very easily, but perfectly if it's out of ammo. There's no BBs in here, but I'm going to go ahead and dry fire out all the gas. This is right after shooting down rage, zoomed all the way out, so you can, you know, see the BBs after the last test. And let's go ahead and do it for some automatic. Full auto. Alright, so as you can see, the gas consumption of this gun, it's very good, very good on gas. Uh, as you can see though, it gets pretty cold, you can actually see the frost on this at the very bottom. The bottom of it gets cold, the upper portion of it actually doesn't get as cold. Um, this part is actually cooler than the bottom part, which is, which is pretty interesting. And it's strange, when you fill it up, it's almost like it gets warmer. But, uh, not sure why that is, I'm probably sure it's because it's the, uh, the gas system they use. But uh, great on gas, you can probably fire about three and a half magazines out before you need to refill. And this is a 48 round magazine, so that's going to last you a while. Um, so you get some extra magazines, and I could see it easily using this thing as a main arm in a woodland game. That's how good the accuracy it is. So, great accuracy. As you could just see, BBs fly absolutely straight. 0.25s are probably the best to use for this. And this works great on propane, it's reliable. Definitely an accurate gun. So that has been Red Dragon Airsoft's accuracy test of the KWA MP7.